contract case? Uh, <laughs> not really. No, we're just still in the middle of discussions. Uh, a couple weeks after, at least. Going back and forth, but it's all good. Do you have any kind of sense what Shelton and Marquise are thinking at this point? Uh, not really. I think it just kind of is, this is really more of when it's kind of getting started for them uh, in terms of when they would go meet with the pro uh, team and sit down with them and talk and work out. And, you know, that will happen over the next couple of weeks. Coach, I know the, uh, the, the new rule uh, they, they um, enacted last year with the uh, NBA Combine being able to decide later after the Combine whether to come back. That benefits the players, but how much does that uh, put you in a bind yeah, as a coach? It's challenging for college coaches for sure, and it used to be even later than that. And so that was one of the benefits was to move it back a little bit uh, earlier to try to help us. But, you know, you lose good players at this time of year, there's really it's, – it's hard to replace them. There's not as many guys out there. and. Uh, you know what you got to do what's best for the kids uh, you know that's what that's what our job is ultimately is to help them both on and off the court and certainly for their professional development you want to do whatever you can as a coach to to help your guys and hopefully you have guys that are good enough to be in this situation so uh, you know we've done it a couple of years and we've been fortunate that we haven't really lost one and hopefully that'll be the case I know that some combine invites have gone out. Have those guys heard anything as well? Uh, I, you know what? I haven't talked to either one of them. Um, I don't think they got one, um, which isn't the all end all. We, we knew they were kind of like on the border of that. Um, so we just got to wait and see. How is Dante in his rehab process? He's doing well. Uh, thanks for asking. He, uh, you know, been working at it unbelievably hard. Uh, I think he's a little bit ahead of schedule, um, which is good. Our, our trainers and Staff and doctors have done an unbelievable job, and certainly Dante is highly motivated and, and uh, working really hard. So he, he's doing he's doing well right now. Have you detected a change in the program perception, just both on the recruiting trail and being out among fans here recently? Uh, well, certainly coming to these things, there's a lot of enthusiasm and excitement. Uh, you know, for for what happened this year with our team. You know, I've I've talked consistently about. It. I've been really proud of our guys because of the consistency we showed. I think everybody's, you know, you get excited in college basketball about the NCAA tournament. And uh, certainly us going to the Sweet 16 was, was special, but was equally special was win, winning 11 ACC games, you know, going 11 and one in the non-conference with some big wins against Ohio State, Florida uh, on the road. So I, I was really proud of this team because we were consistently good. We, we played well for the full season, which is hard to do in college basketball. And, and obviously when you lose a player of Dante's value, uh, that's even more challenging. So I, I think that's one of the things that I'm excited about this year, this past team, and something I'll be uh, you know, really proud of. Amir seemed to be coming on strong in, in the last year. Good athlete, yeah. broken shooter. Yeah. What do you feel like he can do? Make yeah, I think jump? he's highly motivated right now. Um, you know, working extremely hard. Uh, you know, it's not just Marquise and, and Shelton, but Eli's been in the gym a lot. And, Eli and Amir have both been in the gym together, spent a lot of time working. Uh, I think the experience that he gained was invaluable, um, certainly. But uh, he, he's got a lot he needs to, to work on. He, I think you know, just getting to play that much, I think, shows you what you need to work on. And um, you know, it, it's all facets for a young player. But uh, again, he's another guy that's really putting in the time and uh, excited to see his development. I think with uh, Scott leaving and the potentiality of, of Marquise and um, Shelton. Shelton, sorry, um, we, that, that potentiality, you think that's a motivational factor for guys like Clyde and AJ? Yeah, I don't think necessarily guys, you know, leaving. I, I think it's more just guys wanting to play. And I think, you know, our freshmen um, should be highly motivated. You know, AJ came on strong late and, and made some, some three-point shots in significant games, and I was really proud of the way he – kind of went through uh, our year. You know, he, he really showed grit, to be honest with you. He hung in there uh, as a guy who wasn't playing much early and played well late, developed. And uh, I think Clyde was one of those guys. He's obviously playing behind two high, high level players. Um, so he didn't get quite as much time as he would have liked. But I think he's understands that uh, he had a lot to learn. Uh, feels like he learned it. We talked about a lot of things in our in our meeting at the end of the season here. And uh, I think he's just highly motivated to continue to play. So. Um, you know, I look for those guys to to really be aggressive. Malik as well. Malik has um, had to battle a few things, but but uh, I, I think those guys are you know, really going to have good off seasons. So a lot of times, you make your biggest jump between your freshman and sophomore year. How big is it to have Eli back, not from the on the court perspective, but from a leadership? Yeah, it's a combination. You know, we don't have any juniors, so really our senior class, and then we've got a lot of young players. Uh, it'll be a little bit of a different dynamic for us. We've been 
older these last two years, and you know, while we'll have seniors, you know, I don't know if I would classify us as as you know one of the oldest teams um, that we've had the last couple of years. So I think, you know, his development, his maturity, I think it's something we're really proud of. He's he's a guy that you know came in and and, and to be honest, probably didn't have the greatest work ethic. Uh, and I think that's something he's really developed. Uh, and I think as he's had success, uh, you've now seen him grow in, in every facet. And I, I think his development as a person uh, was something that we were extremely proud of with him. His habits, his attitude towards school. We made very good grades this year. Uh, the way he's acted with the, the younger players, uh, grabbing Amir especially, and really pulling him along this offseason has been good. Coach D has been here a year now. Um, how much of an asset do you think he's been on the recruiting trail and will continue to be? I think it's you know still a little early. I think it takes guys at this level, of, you know, a little over a year to really kind of make an impact. I think most of our team is pretty much set um, at this point, but he certainly has made a lot of inroads with people. And um, you know, Coach Bender did an unbelievable job in the fall with the guys that we really kind of got to to commit early and sign uh, Newman and Tyson. Just did phenomenal jobs with those guys. So, and then Coach Smith has always done a really good job. So, I'm, I'm extremely confident with our staff. I love where our program is. Um, feel like we're on the verge of big things. All good. Yeah.